Alright, we're checking out the only game that gives you 7.7 .7 billion test subjects to torture with science. It's Solar Smash. Solar Smash is a good game, just keeps getting better. Look at the beautiful cloud structure. However, with my good buddy Outwit, we have decided to make this game even better by removing all traces of restrictions, allowing us to do things like simulate what it would be like if a needle hit the earth at one gajillion times light speed. See this happy sun over here? He's smiling because it's the only thing to keep him from crying. Welcome to Solar Hacks. Solar Hacks allows us to take every single thing in the game and change it in like a hundred different ways. <laughs> Allow me to show you. Behold the sad meteorite heading for Florida. 76 million people died from that. Rookie numbers. So my plan is I basically want to thread the needle. I want to take one single piece of rock and increase its amplitude and speed so much that it can literally Thanos the entire planet. But I need to make sure that the damage comes from one side because I don't want it to just disappear the planet. I want it to literally get Thanos, like slowly disappear. This is possible. We're gonna make this happen. Now, obviously, typically, you could take your meteorite and you could modify it this way. The big issue though is that there's a limit. See that? There's your limit. The biggest issue I have with the meteorite is that it doesn't actually penetrate the planet like it should. It just kind of backhands the planet until it doesn't want to live anymore. And thus, we have a glorious feature here called amplitude. This is cool speak for penetrating the earth more er. Let us bring this to 10. I'm gonna keep using Florida, not because I hate Florida, it's where I keep all my stuff, but because it gives us a good baseline. All right, now this is everything still at its lowest point. See? Now we're starting to dig into the earth. That's what I want. I'm actually kind of curious if you send something directly through Florida, who pays the price on the other side of the planet? I feel like it's gonna be somewhat close to Australia. Australia and Florida should be neighbors. We're both so similar. We're both hot, we both drink a lot, and all of our nature has a tendency to try and kill us all the time. All right, so 10 amplitude is not enough. Obviously, we need more zeros. I'm gonna slow things down just so that we can kind of get a better opportunity to see the penetration. Mm. Yeah, let, let's get right down into Florida here. There we go, it starts to burn. Now it begins to dig into the planet. You can see the glowing after, what the hell was that? What the hell happened over here? I'm not actually 100% sure what happened. I feel like this this occurred simply so that the earth could have two eyes to look at me in order to say, Gray, what the hell? Hold on, <laughs> real quick. I just need to, uh, I mean, we might as well finish this up. There we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that drawing a face on the earth only creates 221 million deaths. I feel like what we need to start doing is increasing the speed as well. Only because until you really start getting past light speed, I feel like things don't get as stupid as they should be. All right. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad I just started with 10 because half a billion people just paid for that experiment. The other thing I want to see if I can do, put the damage range down. Because I want the damage to be very centered in one tiny little area. Let's jack that speed up. I may have to do super slow-mo in order for us to even see what the hell happens. Florida, I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, I evaporated a perfect half of the planet. Literally just perfect. Ah, it's like a delectable bowl of oatmeal. Only the oats are people's bodies. You can see what was left going out into space. Maybe, maybe these little bits of human can colonize the stars. Okay, I think we may need to bring down the speed, but up the amplitude. Let's go ahead and bring this back down to one. <laughs> You know what? Amplitude 10,000. Yeetily deed. Here comes the Floridian heat. And three, two, one, lift off. Okay. Oh yeah, decreasing the distance of the death was definitely a good idea. All right, I think it's time to move up to 100,000. Speed will put it 10. And go. Mm -hmm. God. Oh, the hole is getting way bigger than I had previously anticipated. Oh, it's not too bad. 
It's only, you know, like a good third of the entire United States. Oh, there's not even a billion people that are gonna die from this. That's nothing. Okay, vaporizing the planet is oddly harder than I originally thought. So what I did was I turned everything down to zero except for the speed. So if you do this, what... You get a meatball. I love it. There is no damage to the entire planet other than the fact that it's well done. <laughs> One of those Marvel planet eaters is gonna come across this and they're gonna be like, ah, I like it medium rare. <laughs> okay, how many amplitudes can I put? I want all the, oh, there's a lot of numbers you can put here. Yeah, why not? Oh my God. I love how it took the number that I put in and it was like, uh, yeah, it was something like this. All right, again, I'd like to be able to see it. So, you know what? Actually, let's just start with the speed of one. Go, my son, penetrate harder and deeper than you've ever done before. Yes, yes, it's going deeper. <laughs> I don't actually know what it's hitting in there. Ooh, okay. So it looks like at this point, we're starting to get through like a good third of the planet. If I increase the speed, we should be able to get even further. Hold on. So amplitude's all the way up, speed goes to 10. We're not quite at the Thanos area yet, but at the very least I could thread the needle. Uh... Oh, Jesus. I turned the earth into a cyclops. I love how all the clouds are trying to get away too. They're like, no! Yeah, there's your global warming. Okay, we're easily more than halfway through the planet at this point. All right, probably one more speed. I'm gonna actually pause it so that I have time to, you know, like, get the camera in place. All right, it I think we may be well on our way to the Thanos though, because that had the instance of like slowly disintegrating everything. I like it. Now I'm kind of curious though, what happens if I do just two real quick? I kind of want to know, like, did I even have enough time to do the second one? <laughs> what do I do one more? I think it's hitting all the particles that are surrounding the earth. Like I have to go from the backside to actually get it. Yeah, there we go. Wow. I managed to save the smallest lemon slice of earth you could possibly have. Oh, let me just finish this. Damn it, I can't hit it because there's too many. There we go. Okay, the bullet may be going a little bit too fast here. Bring that down to 50. And you know what? Damage intensity, I'm gonna move that up to 100. Population control test number 200, go. Ooh, 50 might be a pretty good magic number here. Oh, uh, well, more of the Earth is starting to disappear than I had previously anticipated. Oh God, everyone may be dying. Uh, well, if you're in the islands back here, I think you may survive. Sorry, Australia. <laughs> Real quick, before we continue on pummeling the Earth in our efforts to find a way to Thanos it, I have to show you something real quick. Saturn is like literally the perfect test subject for this. So the full amplitude, 100 speed, super slow-mo, go. <laughs> Look at it, it's like, ah, melting, melting. I love how the, the rings of Saturn slowly squish in around the planet as it disintegrates. But see, what I wanted was I wanted Saturn to get really sad and small, but still be able to survive. So it goes, goes, goes. There's almost nothing left at this point. There's this tiny little potato chip of pain. And that's where it ends up at. Normally Saturn is also able to regenerate all the damage that happens to it because it's a gas giant, but not here. I also like too, that there's like rings of death inside of the planet after we hit it with our needle. It's like being able to tell how old a tree is, except here we're just able to tell how much pain Saturn is in. Now I'm kind of curious if I can get it any smaller. Hold on, so like, how about 110 speed? You don't want to go too much because then it just completely disappears. So 110, there it goes. And that's ah, still there. 130? I'm probably gonna end up having to torture all the planets. I just like Saturn's rings the most. Okay, 130 is getting very close to where I want to be. I just want the tiniest bit of Saturn left. All right, 150. Hey, Saturn, do you like numbers? Saturn is like, not really. Too bad. Okay, so 150 is too much. All right, one, 140. Come on, just give me a lit. There it is! Yes! Yes! God, it's like a waffle fry. <laughs> okay, now I'm actually kind of curious. I'm about to 142. <laughs> Trying to cut down on my carbs, all right? I want a smaller waffle fry. Oh, it totally works. What is this? 
It's actually like three little chunks. It's like a little hamburger of sadness. 143. Go. <laughs> oh, they're getting smaller, but there's more. See, there's four little slices now. How big is the earth in comparison to what we've done? You can actually see if you go by the, if you use like the moon. So at this point, the earth is substantially bigger than what was left of Saturn. What the hell? Oh, it cut like a, it cut like a giant chunk out of the earth because of how it's, um, how it's shaped. Hold on. Now I'm kind of curious. Don't mind me. I'm just throwing a bunch of earth at what's left of Saturn because I want to see what happened. Mm. Oh, don't push everyone. There's plenty of pain to go around. All right. Last, last, last try here. 144. All right. 144. Slow. Go. Yay. Okay, so at 144, you lose everything. So 143 is the magic number. Okay, so knowing this, now I need to see. Does the exact same thing happen to Earth? So 143, super slow-mo, go. Oh, yes! Yes! It finally penetrates all of the Earth. Look at the slow sad burning of the Thanos Inc. finally and it leaves just a little bit left okay so now we know the number to get the perfect Thanos event 144 full amplitude super slow-mo go okay so there it is there's the beginning so now you can see that it does it just punches straight through the earth continue with the slow-mo all the clouds disintegrating all of the people. Huh, there's actually still one little chunk left. All right, hold on. 150. I like how the Earth actually has more tenacity than Saturn. I don't think I aimed for Florida last time. That's probably what the problem was. <laughs> Go! Okay. Yes! So this is perfect. Look, you can actually see, like looking through a looking glass, there may still be a small part of the Earth left. There is! Look at this right over here! Even 150 can't take out the Earth in a full Thanos. 160. You gotta watch. You don't want to go too fast because then it just disappears and you don't get to enjoy the slow death. All right, Florida, go. That should do it. 160 should be absolutely perfect. Complete! There it is! The complete disappearance of the entire planet. <laughs> Finally, my dream in Solar Smash has come true which is the ability to vaporize the planet instead of just either making it completely disappear or slowly breaking it down over time. But now, to finish things off. <laughs> Actually, hold on. We might as well go all the way. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Sorry, Australia. Until next time, stay foxy. Whoop! <laughs> and much love.